Hi students and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be discussing predicting outcomes of chemical reactions. Um, so if we look here at your notes, uh, there is five major ways of classifying reactions. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's a combination reaction. We have two entities and they're being combined to form a new substance. Okay, And we're going to go through and discuss each of these individually. So this is more of just an overview. Uh, the decomposition is we have a molecule or a compound of sorts, and it's being separated. It's decomposing into its elemental parts. Okay. A uh, single replacement reaction is we have a compound or, an ion or something that's combined, <clears throat> and we have a single entity. And what's happening is it's going to replace one of these things. And if we look here, A is the one that's being replaced. So C and B are now forming a new molecule or compound. And how this occurs is based on the activity series. And we're going to be discussing that. Like, why does that occur? Because sometimes this won't happen. It won't react. While other elements will react, react because they have a higher act, they are higher up in the activation series. Okay. And then we have double replacements, which is similar to this, okay, because we, we're going to have a switching going on. For example, in this situation, we have AB and CD. And then over here, we have AD and CB. They, sw they switch places. One of these parts of these compounds are switching. And that's really all that's happening. And learning about what is switching and what is not um, is, takes practice. And it's also a lot, along the same lines of the activation series about what is gonna, who's going to switch. Because okay? it could be the other way. It just depends on the situation. And then the last one, the one that you may be most familiar with, is combustion reactions. Okay, So, for example, you probably got here to school or you're driving around town. It's combustion. We're controlling that reaction inside of an engine, and it's causing a piston to move, and it's driving force. And in our labs, we use methane in our, all of our gas valves. It's reacting with oxygen in the air, and it's forming carbon dioxide and water. And this will be the last type of reaction we will discuss. Um, but overall, these are the five major types of reactions, and that's how we classify them.